Turning uranium ore into nuclear fuel is an elaborate process. Uranium ore is crushed and treated with acids to produce a concentrated uranium oxide called yellow cake. Less than 1% of this is uranium-235, the isotope that reactors need to produce fission power. To increase the isotope's concentration, it is initially turned into a gas known as uranium hexafluoride. This is then put through one of two processes to increase the concentration of U-235. One is the diffusion method, which forces the gas through membranes. The second is the centrifugal method, which Iran is using. In the centrifugal method, the uranium hexafluoride gas is fed into a cylinder that is spun at high speed. The lighter U-235 molecules collect closer to the center of the cylinder, which is siphoned off. The slightly depleted gas is captured to be recycled and processed again. The slightly enriched gas is then enriched again and again in the same manner in a process known as a cascade. Hundreds or thousands of centrifuges can make up a cascade, potentially creating highly enriched U-235 gas. A chemical process turns the highly enriched gas into concentrated U-235 metal that can be used in a reactor or to make a bomb. Iran says its centrifuges can reach 20% levels of enrichment of U-235. That's far higher than the 3.67% allowed under the 2015 International Nuclear Deal. But 20% enrichment is not enough for use in nuclear weapons.